Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel and yes, long time no see. Um, it's been a while again since I've done my previous YouTube video. I just simply fall out of the habit of doing them, lose confidence in myself, criticise my videos and you know, it's just it's the usual thing that happens with me. Um, but I really do enjoy making videos when I do make them, so I just need to remember the feeling when I do make them. And also I've had lots of people asking me for them, so I'm like, well, they must be wanted. So I thought I would try and make a start again, um, try and be more consistent and just try and just share, share my life with you and just be real as I have been from day one and not put the pressure on myself because at the end of the day, we all start somewhere with our videos and I just hope that I'll improve over time because practice makes perfect as they say and I'm only going to practice if I make the videos. So I'm back, I'm back again and I don't usually do this, I don't actually, I don't, I don't know, the bit, basically this video is a full day of eating um, and I don't usually do four days of eating, um, I've done them in the past but because I'm very much a believer of that you kind of got to do what works for you and you shouldn't really follow someone else's diet because obviously someone else's diet is it will not work the same way that it works for them because we all have different bodies we all have different lifestyles we all require different amounts uh, different calories different macros depending on our goals depending on so many factors so that's why i think that there's just so many things that go into it like it is just pointless copying someone else's diet but I have realised that getting meal ideas, getting meal timings, meal structuring, just things like that can be helpful for people. Um, and I guess that's how I've learned over the years, because when I first started my recovery, I did used to watch a lot of full days of eating and I used to get lots of ideas about how to eat, what is normal or what is a good amount to eat when you're living a busy lifestyle in terms of like training and trying to build muscle. Um, so I thought that I would share my current diet. Um, I've had a lot of people asking for it, so I will listen to your requests and I am fulfilling that for you. So in terms of my diet, over the past few months, I've kind of, I haven't been slacking, like don't get me wrong, I've been hitting my macros every single day. I've been doing that, I've been hitting my numbers, but I've been a bit lazy in terms of like cooking. Like I've been taking the easy option, like, oh, cream of rice. So I've been having like cream of rice a lot because it's quick, it digests easily, it tastes really nice and it just works, do you know what I mean? But I just can't have cream of rice for every single meal of the day. Like, I'm not, don't be wrong, I wasn't having it every single meal, but 90% of my meals I was having it. Um, and also like my meal timings were getting very late because of like traveling times and having a busy lifestyle. And I just basically need to be more prepared and I need to have more variety. So I'm setting myself the task, the challenge, the goal of having more variety and getting my meals in earlier and just being a bit more consistent with meal timings and stuff like that and um, nutrient timing. So I've looked at my diet and I'm going to share today like my new updated diet. Um, obviously I don't share my numbers, don't share any of that because like I said previously it's all individual so you need to do what works for you but I will show you like my meal timings, what foods I'm eating, um, why I'm eating them, and yeah, just my current diet and the sort of variety that I'm having now. Um, so at this moment in time, I'm having six food meals a day, and then I have my intra workout, if you class that as a meal, so five or six meals, well, however you class it. But my intra is actually untracked, so Callum actually just wants that, just not, it's not tracked, like it's, because it's consistent every training day, so we don't actually put it in my fitness pound, it's not actually included in my macros, so intra is just like a thing on the side at the moment. Callum has sent me my macros, they're the highest I've ever been at the moment, which is absolutely fine, and he's actually said in my previous check-in that they're probably going to go up this week, which is fine, it's fine, we do it. We move on, we keep going. <laughs> I've done it for so long now. Like it's been, I think it's been about like three years of being in a calorie surplus. Yeah, I think it has been. It's gonna be weird when I go into a prep, like actually being like, oh, I'm in a calorie deficit. It's gonna be very weird. Um, it's been a long, long time. But obviously this is a completely different scenario, different situation, different goals, different reason, different Hannah. Um, so yeah, I will show you my meals. I'm actually filming this clip the day after, because I forgot to do an intro, and I forgot to do an outro, so I'll do that after you've watched the day of eating. Uh, but I'm going to obviously start with meal one, and take you through the day, and yeah, I'll catch you when all the meals are done. I'll catch you in a bit.
It's hard for me to let go But I think that I'm finally feeling good again So hard cause I loved you But I'm finally feeling like myself All of the wounds that were open by you are now closing I finally know how to live without hurting myself I think that I am moving on cause I do feel less broken So, first meal of the day is actually something different um, because obviously like I've told you, explained I'm adding in another meal because as calories are going up, I just need to add another meal in. Otherwise things are just getting too much for me to digest and it's just getting very like, like don't get me wrong, I'm still hungry and stuff like that. And I'm not getting like, I'm not losing my appetite, but like, I just want to space things out a bit more um, and get my food in earlier. So I can have more sleep, etc., etc., etc. Um, So this is meal one. We have, we have a bagel thin with some jam on, raspberries, Greek yogurt mixed with some white chocolate perform whey and a square of dark chocolate. So carbs, fats, and protein. Um, and in all of my meals, I make sure I have at least 20 grams of highly bioavailable bio protein. I always call it HB protein because highly bioavailable is really hard to say. But yeah, I try and aim for that in all of my five meals. Um, and then the intra, that, that's, does, that's got the EAAs in it, which is the serving of EAAs, but that's that's not really, that's different. Um, but yeah, so this is meal one. I'm going to eat this now, and then I'm going to go, I've just had my morning coffee, as you've seen. Um, I've just got a hot water to go with my meal. Is that weird? I just like having hot water. Don't know why. Um, and I'm going to go for my morning walk, um, because it's I haven't got work this morning. Now I'll come back, prepare my post-workout meal, have my pre-workout meal, and then we'll go to the gym to train. Push. So it's now time for meal two, which will be my pre-workout meal. Um, but at the same time that I'm making my pre-workout meal, I'm going to also make my post-workout meal. So then when I come back from the gym, it's literally in the fridge ready. So I can just literally put it in the microwave, heat it up and then eat it. Um, this is something new that I've done as well, because previously I would be like, like I have to cycle to the gym. So it takes me like half an hour to cycle there. And then obviously train, got to do my warm up and everything like that. And then cycle back. And then I would come back, shower, and then eat. But like, it was just way too long between meals. Um, and I do have my intra workout, so obviously that keeps me like, um, with like my blood sugars and that, with like the carbs and having the EAAs as well. But I just still felt like I was getting really low blood sugars and it was just, I was just feeling so like, oh my God, I really need to eat, I'm really tired. So I, what I'm doing now, which I'm trying at the moment, is literally getting in the front door, heating up the food and eating it, then getting in the shower. Um, Something that I've kind of struggled with because when I I'm a little when I go to the gym I feel like when you finish the gym you feel a bit all like grimy and sweaty and you just want to get in the shower don't you? But at the end of the day if I'm getting lower blood sugars I need to eat. So long story short I'm gonna eat as soon as I get in the door. Um, and yeah I'm just gonna make those now. Um, I'm not gonna show the whole cooking process. I will show you when they're done and talk through what I'm having. And then yeah. I'll eat it and then get to the gym and train push. I'm actually really, really enjoying my training at the moment. Um, with strength is at an all time high. I'm progressing every single session and it just feels amazing. I just, I just, you know when you, like building muscle takes a long time and you think that, oh, I'm putting all this work in and you just feel like the results are just so small. But it's, it's a long, it's, it's a long term thing and things don't just happen overnight and I know that. And eventually I will be, I will see that progress and I will look back and think, wow, I actually have come a long way. I just need to be patient, keep being consistent and keep putting the hard work in and yeah, just do my best and the results will happen. But I'm going to make my food now and I will show you when it's done. I'm walking around in the circle of life. Doing the things I know Walking the same ways a hundred of times With the same soul But do you ever try to puff on the right side? Put it up in your mind But do you ever try to puff on the left side? Put it up in your mind So, this is meal two, cream of rice, which is my pre-workout meal. So, 
in there. I've actually got it on my story of how I make this. It's like highlighted, actually it was like, it's highlighted on my Instagram page. Um, so it's just cream of rice, oats, and then topped with yogurt mixed with whey protein from Perform Whey, the brownie batter one. Mm. Frozen raspberries, and then I've got another square of dark chocolate. Um, I filmed my post-workout meal, which is in the fridge now, and I'll, that is just chicken, rice, um, veggies, and like a sauce. So I'll have that after my session. Um, and I'm also going to show you my intra now, actually. This is what I have in my intra. So that's that one there. In that one, there's just orange squash because I just like to have two drinks. So in here, we have five grams of creatine, I have a serving of EAAs, and then I have a serving of cyclodextrin, which is carbs. And then that is my pre-workout of choice today. It's the new JP Stim one. It's nice, but it's got like bits in it. So I kind of have to dry scoop it because I can't stand drinking the bits, but it, it works really well. Um, so yeah, that's like my intra stack. Um, and I'll have that, I'll sip that throughout my workout. On my own, but it's all You don't realize I won't look back when you're around I won't think twice when you're gone Don't hesitate to call me back Cause I won't be there I won't look back when you're around I won't think twice when you're gone Oh goodness me, apologies for the um, post shower look and the empty dishwasher stuff in the background there. Um, it's obviously a lot later now, um, I trained, came back, had my post workout meal, showered, done like some washing, everything like that and now I'm just cooking my dinner and then I'll be having my last, bo my last meal which is my chilli oats which I have all the time which I will do for forever and a day. Um, I didn't speak on the camera after I trained because I was just so hungry, I just wanted to eat um, and I just thought I'll just update you later. But the session was good, um, my main compound movements were really good, they progressed. A few of the isolation things weren't, I just didn't, you know you just don't get the connection some weeks? That's how I felt this week, but it's fine, next week we will improve, it'll be fine, it's all good, move on. I am a big hypocrite because I like I... I get upset about these things and it's just because my training means so much to me so I, when everything isn't perfect and I know there is no such thing as perfect and it can't be perfect but I want it to be perfect and when it isn't I get really down but I'm just thinking Hannah it's a process and next week you can just do better do you know what I mean but anyway this day is about the eating um so this dinner that I'm having now will be meal one two three meal four um, I did have my intra, but I don't know whether some people will class that as a meal, but um, it has got carbs in it, so technically it is a meal, but in terms of like food, um, this is meal four, and then my oats before bed slash cream of rice will be my meal five, and that will be my full day of eating. I will show you that when I have that, but I will show you my dinner when it's done as well. I'm just having eggs with potatoes and veggies and sauces and stuff like that. So I can just hear that it's nearly ready now. Uh, I'm just going to dish it all up and I will show you when it's done. Don't hesitate to call me back Cause I won't be there I won't look back when you're wrong I won't think twice when you're gone Don't hesitate to call me back Cause I won't be there I won't look back my full day of eating that's all my meals that's all my five meals and then i showed you my intro 
yeah, so as you see, a lot more variety. Um, I'm getting my protein in, my carbs in, my fats in. I just make sure that I present my food well as, as well. Like that's a tip for somebody who is struggling to eat either they haven't got an appetite or they're just struggling in terms of like an eating disorder. Make your food look appealing and eat foods that you do enjoy and also have a treat. Like I didn't actually share on that, I actually forgot to do it, but I have a couple mini eggs in the, in the evening because I just love my mini eggs. I have it with that glass of Pepsi Max that you saw me pouring out because I love Pepsi Max. Um, yeah, just like don't cut out treats. And also there's a new thing that I've been doing as well is that I've when I go to my mum's every Saturday and I'm allowing her to cook my meal for me. So like it's untracked and I just say, right, as long as it's got protein in it, as long as it's got carbs in it, that's absolutely fine. And the fat just kind of comes along with it. Um, and we're having so many different things. Like we've got so many things planned anyway. Like this week, hopefully all things going to plan, we're gonna have fillet steak. And I've never had fillet steak before in my life. People look at me and they're like, are you, are you all right? <laughs> um, so I'm gonna be having that. We're gonna have like this salmon thing that she wants to do. Um, just so many different things that we're gonna do. And it's just, it's seeing the smile on my mom's face when she sees something that she's cooked and I'm eating it. And she said like, cause she said to me, I feel like you trust me. And I'm like, mom, I've always trusted you. It's just, it's my head that took me over. So that's something that I'm doing at the moment and it feels amazing. Um, it's just living life at the end of the day and that's what you gotta do. Like food is something to be enjoyed. Like you make memories around food. It's kind of like you're creating a photo album when you have like a meal with somebody. Um, it's like a picture, but not a picture. Do you know what I mean? Cause you will remember that time and it's helping me towards my goals at the end of the day. It's helping me build the muscle I need to do my dream, to compete, to get on that stage and be the best athlete I can be. And yes, it's hard, gaining weight is hard. Seeing my body change is hard, but I know it's just a process and I trust that process. I trust my coach. I have an amazing coach. I trust, I just trust it um, and I'm doing my best and it's worked for all these people out there. So why will it not work for me? And yeah, I just, I just got to keep going, keep being consistent and just enjoying it enjoying every single moment. So I think I'm gonna close the video out here and if anyone's got any questions or wants any advice, just feel free to DM me on Instagram at gain of gains, I've put it in here. Um, drop me a message below and I will 100% be willing to help you give you advice or just support or just someone to chat to because that's why I do this. I just wanna help everyone out there. That's that's what I'm here for at the end of the day and that's, that's my aim. I'm just really happy to be growing, not just physically but mentally as well. And it just, I just feel like I'm living my life again and I'm actually, I'm Hannah again. And yeah, things are moving forward. So yeah, I'm gonna close the video out here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and drop below any future videos you wanna see from me. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.